Now that I said to take your time with the it's too long. face stairs, yeah, they became okay. much longer in the initial pauses, but then okay. it was a nice contrast when you went into the Fast ones. faster whips. Yeah. Okay. This arm coming over your take take your time for this hand and arm rotation. So there are sort of a series of scenes, I would call them, in the piece, and within the scene, the system is uh, interactive with her, but once in a while, I trigger a change in the behavior of the system in relation to her, uh, and previously, generally, the timing of those shifts is just automated, but we've been having some variation, so there's a few things where I'm hitting a button to change, like the sensitivity of certain sensors that are on the board, or... This is sort of cameras, but I would say it's more her and the system, and I usually just hit go, okay. so that she can engage with the environment without me mediating it then. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I very much think of her as a person, but maybe in an expanded view of what a body is and what a human is, uh, which is, you know, interfacing with all of this media and all of this media also being active performers in the piece that I don't see as you know, separate in a in a binary or oppositional relationship to her as a person and the media as objects. I'm trying to play more with a, a mixing between who is active, who is or what is object in the piece. I'm hoping to, to blur some of that. Well, she's definitely imposed a scenario on me, which makes me feel a little bit, I, I feel different things a lot of the time. Like there's definitely, I have a bit of a narrative that goes through my mind for sure. There's definitely a feeling of being trapped. Mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah, the sense of being separate from the outside world in a way too. And then engaging with that outside world, but very briefly. I have performed this piece before that definitely, like it adds to that feeling of being, I mean, I'm already being observed in a way, in a way every time I run it, it feels like there's, you're in performance, like a lot of the time and if you're rehearsing a work, um, you don't get that feeling unless you're in tech or unless people come in, but I definitely already have a sense of already being in that state just because there's always, whenever we rehearse, all of the multimedia is with me so it's already in that place in a way but when a bunch of people come in it's even more so I already have the sense of being observed and then I have the sense of being observed more well, <laughs> yeah there I mean, is a moment I feel like where I sort of come out of whatever state it is that I'm in and um Something During changes splits. at that moment, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a change in that moment, I think. Like a change of power or something. Because there, I actually am looking in the cameras a lot. Like I, throughout the piece, I look in the cameras. But ha that there's a moment where I look out into the public. And make which, eye contact with And actually with make eye contact yeah. with people. So unless there are people in the room to make eye contact with, the only person that I do that with is Tioma. But for instance, today I did it with you. Yes. And it makes it a really different experience for me. So I'm very much engaged in this experience with the technology. And then there's a moment where... And I can feel that there are people around me, but I haven't engaged with them at all up until that point. And then I very much do in a way that is quite different from anything else I've ever done mm -hmm. in terms of engaging with the public, I guess. I'm really interested in questions regarding how uh, our engagements with media and with other people become mediated. So in what ways does the presence and you know the active role of media in this piece with Tal uh, 
increase or just change the way in which she feels vulnerable or transform the the intimacy that we have between the performer and the audience because it's being mediated in a certain way. Um, and there's also uh, a layer of working with the media that interests me that is uh, about like uncertainty and letting go of, of some control or agency in the situation. Mm -hmm. There is lots of randomness and chance in what's happening here and the performance is different uh, to an extent. You know, Within a framework, it's different every time depending on how Tal engages with the media and then with the public. So there are a lot of uh, sort of layers of, of play and negotiation <laughs> and agency. <laughs> mm -hmm.